we get here? We must have been kidnapped by terrorists. No, cries Hemthorne. We paid a man 30 million caderos each to arrange a fishing trip into the heart of South America. Oh, I say, gazing out the doorway at the dismal swamp, my view unobstructed by any evidence of a door. The, sh the heart, you say? It seems more like the... Never mind that, cries Hemthorne. We have a bigger problem. Does it have to do with the fact that our travel agent wore a fake beard and mustache and read his agency out of the trunk of a car behind the tattoo parlor? Maybe. But I seemed all right at the time. Take it easy, Hemthorne. You're starting to croak. I don't think I'm that bad yet. Maybe, though. Last night when I got up to go to the bathroom... We have a bathroom? It's a euphemism for a bush outside. Anyway... I hadn't gone more than a few steps when I felt something creepy crawly squirming about my bare feet. Snakes, I thought. Surprised my screams didn't wake you. Oh, I heard screams, but I thought they were my own. Something resembling a five-pound bat that perched upon my knee. No, the screams were mine. Anyway, when I came to, I realized I was crouched in a window about seven feet off the floor. We have a window? Yes, it's very small and difficult to crouch in. But thankfully, the proprietor of the camp had thoughtfully removed it of any glass. Otherwise, I might have been cut to pieces.